Brother Mamba here, children of God. Um, I would like to talk to a husband and later on a wife. If you are a husband who has not been doing the right thing, you have not been doing the right thing and you are convinced that um, you've done so many mistakes and you find it very, very difficult to learn how to put things in order again, I want to encourage you. Because you know the Bible says, for all have uh, fallen short of the glory of the Lord. You know, um, uh, we all are not perfect, but Christ is perfect in us. When you make a mistake, for example, you've been womanizing, you've been having situations where, you know, you've not treated your wife kindly, um, and you, 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 you don't see uh, your marriage, you know, getting back together. You don't see your marriage being resuscitated or reconciled. I want you to know that God can do it at that very position that you are at. All you need to do is cry unto the Lord. Let the Lord know that you cannot handle it on your own. Let the Lord know that, you know, all your thoughts could work out has not worked out. You know, and allow Jesus Christ to be in control of your marriage from today henceforth. And the best way for Christ to be in your marriage is by first Him being in your life. Christ must first lead in your life. If you happen to be a man who does not believe in Jesus Christ, you know, and you're married to a woman who equally does not believe in Christ or might be saved already, I want to encourage you that it is time for you to give your heart to Jesus Christ so that Christ can work on it, make it work for his purpose to be fulfilled in you. And I guarantee you when you do that, Christ will be able to use you so mightily that you shall serve his purpose to his glory and the Lord shall raise you up. Most of the times when things may happen, like I've said to our lives, you know, that is not the end. When you when you run to Jesus Christ like the prodigal son did, you know, God shall not only uh, um, work on your marriage, but he shall use you as a mighty and powerful vessel to mend other people's marriage. God shall use you as his voice. He shall use you as his counsel to help other people get resuscitated, you know, not only marriages, but you shall be able to see the power of God in your life. So it is time, child of God, if you've been, you know, womanizing, you've not been treating your wife well, sometimes you have even been beating her, you know, it's time you gave your life to Christ. It's time you did the right thing so that, you know, you may give God his will in your life so that your children may see you as a powerful inspiration in their life. So that, you know, when you do the right thing, your children may believe that marriages work. Otherwise, if you just leave it the way it is, you know, number one, it will not only work for you, but your children will also not believe in love. Because when they look at you and your wife, they will not see anything good, you know, and they will lead lives, you know, that are so bad and that's how come sometimes we see, we see our children to start taking drugs they start to drink you know we wonder we try to beat them without you know knowing that we actually are causing them to be like that children must find a fountain of life in their parents they must be able to see hope in their parents they must be able to see light in their lives but when all they see is arguments you know we are simply telling them that there's nothing good in marriages there is a it's a mistake that they were born and they we try we, we, we indirectly preach the message that is not of God even when we do not quote any scripture but you know when we do the right thing children shall believe in love they shall believe you know in life they shall value their lives because they will also they, they will have learned how to value their lives based on the way you valued your lives and you how you valued them so child of god may the lord help you in jesus name to a wife if you are tired of a man who's been treating you bad i pray that the lord you know helps you same with men who might have women who may not be treating them bad may the lord touch you i speak that christ may dawn in your lives that the lord jesus christ may speak light anew i pray that anything that has been taking your, your your spouse away from god you know gets to starts to crumble right now it starts to crash in the mighty name of jesus i plead the blood of jesus upon your, your lives upon your marriages i pray that the lord shall be there for you the lord shall help you out the lord shall speak for you and that out of a crying marriage may there be cries of joy may there be mighty and powerful counselors people shall give a mighty and powerful testimony to god's glory May your families be surprised on a better way. 
in a better way because of the transformation that the Lord is doing in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that the Lord touches your husband, that the Lord touches your wife, that the Lord touches your family in the mighty and precious name of Jesus, that the Lord visits every heart in that house that is troubled and be able to transform every heart in the name of Jesus. I speak life and light in that marriage. I speak life and light. Let everything good that has died start to live again. Everything that is good starts to live. I speak that life and I speak light for direction. If you have reached the end of your marriage, may the Lord be able to open doors so that you may be no, you may be able to know where to, you're supposed to step so that the next step shall bring fruition. It shall mend your heart it shall bring healing it shall bring restoration and that god like he did in the book of job 33 where a man became so sick you know and the angel was able to mediate for him you know and after that though it happens one in a thousand out of a thousand that man was restored he his, his appetite was restored and his skin became like that of a baby that is what the bible says meaning it doesn't matter how bad something is when we take it to god god is able to work out his good so that it may come out even better than our best moments in life let the lord be with you i'm brother Mamba. thank you for watching May the Lord be with you once again in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.